turmeric is often touted as a health boosting spice. And indeed, research shows that turmeric may have quite a few therapeutic benefits. But in order to separate the myth from the facts, we need to look into the research to see what health claims hold up. For example, does turmeric work for weight loss? Studies analyzing various forms and doses of turmeric and its active ingredient curcumin report an average weight loss of about 0.6 to 1 kilogram, along with a slight reduction in waist circumference. However, these waistline effects were only seen at high doses, over 1,000 milligrams daily for at least 8 weeks. But there are some major caveats here. Many of the studies showing these positive effects are small, poorly conducted, and carry a high risk of bias. Additionally, most studies were conducted in Iran and China, not North America. And when similar research was conducted in the US, turmeric had no measurable effect on weight loss beyond a placebo. So what can we take away from this? First, turmeric might provide a very small weight loss benefit, though the effect is probably insignificant. The observed weight loss averaging 1 to 2 pounds over several months is within the range of normal weight fluctuations, even without trying to lose weight. Second, turmeric's effects on weight loss may vary by region. It seems to have a stronger effect in populations from Iran, possibly due to differences in diet or lifestyle, or perhaps because the turmeric used there is of different quality. But for those in the US, taking turmeric is unlikely to impact weight loss meaningfully. Even if turmeric does have a slight effect on your weight, it's too minor to expect noticeable weight loss results. By the way, I review many supplements on this channel, so if you'd like to stay updated, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That being said, turmeric and its active compound curcumin have shown some promising effects for several other health conditions, even if weight loss isn't one of them. Let's take a look at the areas where turmeric may actually be helpful. Curcumin extracts have been widely studied for relieving symptoms of osteoarthritis, particularly knee pain. Meta-analyses of clinical studies suggest that curcumin products can reduce knee pain and improve physical function. The most effective dose was up to 1,500 mg taken over periods from 4 to 36 weeks. In treating knee osteoarthritis, curcumin appears to work as effectively as NSAIDs like ibuprofen in reducing pain and may even have fewer side effects. Some studies found additional pain relief when curcumin was used alongside NSAIDs, which could also reduce the amount of NSAIDs needed. However, these benefits are only seen with bio-optimized forms of curcumin, such as nanoparticle or liposome formulations, rather than with raw turmeric extracts. As a side note, topical turmeric creams have been tested as well, with one study finding that applying a 5% curcumin ointment reduced knee osteoarthritis pain. So curcumin has shown a solid ability to relieve pain and improve knee function in osteoarthritis, potentially as effective as some NSAIDs with fewer side effects. Just remember, these benefits are only likely with bio-optimized curcumin, not regular curcumin powder or generic extracts. Curcumin extracts have also been researched for their potential to relieve depression. Studies show that taking 1,000 mg of curcumin daily for 6 weeks can improve depression symptoms, especially when combined with an antidepressant. Curcumin seems to be most effective for depression in middle-aged adults compared to older adults. Remarkably, one study found that curcumin may even work as effectively as Prozac, an SSRI commonly prescribed for depression. In fact, the World Federation of Societies of Biological Psychiatry and the Canadian Network for Mood and Anxiety Treatments provisionally recommend curcumin extracts for mild to moderate depression. So curcumin extracts have credible evidence supporting their role in managing depression and can be used alongside SSRIs to help boost mood and improve depression symptoms. Curcumin extracts have also shown promise in managing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD. Studies indicate that curcumin can help lower liver enzyme levels such as ALT and AST which reflect a reduction in liver damage from NAFLD. Curcumin may also improve certain metabolic factors, including insulin resistance and blood lipid levels in adults with the condition. It might even help slow or reduce the buildup of fat in the liver. Oral turmeric may also benefit people experiencing heartburn. 
Research suggests that taking 500 milligrams of turmeric four times daily can relieve symptoms of indigestion or dyspepsia more effectively than a placebo. In fact, turmeric may be as effective as omeprazole, a common dyspepsia medication. Additionally, curcumin may help eradicate H. pylori, a bacteria linked to dyspepsia. So curcumin can offer support for heartburn and may even match the effectiveness of some medications in certain cases. Now let's explore some other conditions where turmeric may have benefits, though the supporting evidence for these uses is more mixed or limited. Turmeric may help relieve hay fever symptoms. A large clinical study found that taking 500 milligrams of curcumin daily for two months reduced nasal symptoms such as sneezing, itching, and congestion compared to a placebo. Curcumin might also offer mild support for blood sugar control in those with metabolic problems. For people with diabetes, research shows that curcumin can lower fasting blood glucose. However, its effect on blood sugar is not as strong as other supplements like fenugreek or apple cider vinegar. A meta-analysis of these trials showed that curcumin lowered fasting blood glucose by about 8 mg per deciliter and HbA1c by about 0.4%. For people with PCOS, studies suggest curcumin can help lower fasting blood glucose and may even reduce body mass index slightly, potentially providing modest weight management support. Curcumin may also contribute to reducing fat levels in the blood, although the improvements are likely minor. A large meta-analysis found that doses of turmeric or curcumin up to 4,000 mg daily lowered triglyceride levels and slightly increased HDL or good cholesterol compared to a placebo. If you're thinking about using turmeric for its potential health benefits, there are some key things to know. First, turmeric and curcumin aren't exactly the same. Turmeric is the whole herb, while curcumin is the active compound in turmeric that most studies focus on for its health benefit. When choosing a turmeric supplement, look for one with a standardized amount of curcumin so you know how much of the active ingredient you're actually getting. Most research studies use curcumin extracts, not raw turmeric. Raw turmeric contains only about 3% curcumin by weight. So if you take 1000 mg of raw turmeric, you're only getting about 30 mg of curcumin. To match the 1.5 gram dose of curcumin that some studies use, you'd need roughly 48 grams of raw turmeric, or nearly 4 tablespoons per day. This is why for therapeutic effects, it's best to choose a standardized curcumin extract rather than raw turmeric powder. Another thing to consider is that curcumin has a low oral bioavailability, meaning it's not easily absorbed into the bloodstream when taken by mouth. Even very high doses, like 8,000 milligrams, don't lead to much curcumin in the blood. Taking curcumin with food may help a bit, but the improvement is usually small. For better absorption, manufacturers often use specialized forms of curcumin, which is what's commonly used in clinical studies. These bio-optimized curcumin forms are designed to help curcumin enter the bloodstream more effectively. You can also increase absorption by taking curcumin with piperine, a compound found in black pepper that enhances curcumin's absorption. So turmeric, particularly its active compound curcumin, does show some reliable benefits for certain health conditions. However, curcumin hasn't proven effective for weight loss on its own. It may still offer support for issues that can relate to obesity like blood sugar control or fatty liver disease, but it's not going to contribute to any weight loss. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. Do you use turmeric? And what are your experiences with it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date and share this video with someone you know who use the info. 